This is Wes Moss, host of Money Matters on News Talk WSB Radio in Atlanta. Now that the election is behind us, investors can go back to worrying about everything else but the election, and that's the coming fiscal cliff. Will our Congress allow the economy to go off the fiscal cliff like Thelma and Louise? First of all, the fiscal cliff is a simple way of describing $700 billion worth of federal spending cuts and tax hikes in 2013, if Congress doesn't act on some type of fiscal reform. It's essentially the deal leftovers from the last debt ceiling debate and the last few years of political wrangling. It'll affect unemployment benefits, payroll taxes, defense spending, and the alternative minimum tax. Add it all up, and the fiscal cliff in full force is a 4.4% fiscal drag to GDP in 2013. But there are three catalysts that could help minimize the fall before 2013. First of all, even the Congressional Budget Office acknowledges how bad the cliff could be, so everyone is aware of the fiscal cliff. Number two, there's another debt ceiling debate that we're very likely to have again before the new year that will force Congress to start compromising. And finally, another necessary debate that has to be had before year-end, that's to fix the flawed alternative minimum tax that could hit 35 million new Americans in 2013. Again, if nothing is done. Investors rarely get hit by the bus they see coming. And we know about the fiscal cliff. We also know that Congress will have to talk and likely compromise something before year-end. Click on the email icon on this video to ask me and the Money Matters team any questions that pertain to this or visit the website by choosing the icon below. Also, tune in to Money Matters Sunday mornings from 9 to 11 on 95.5 FM and AM 750 live on News Talk WSB Radio here in Atlanta.